Good morning guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, I am the guy that three years ago sold literally everything he owned, his house, his cars, his companies, took his family into this camper van and started traveling the world while going all into Bitcoin. We are still all into Bitcoin and some other cryptocurrencies still traveling the world. Today coming to you from this beautiful island of Koh Phangan here in Thailand. Today, guys, I'm going to share with you how much you donated into the wallets for Happy Food to save all these people from hunger here in Thailand, Koh Phangan. I'm, of course, going to talk about the Bitcoin price. I have some pretty awesome charts that will show you some pretty awesome futures. Of course, guys, also talking about Venezuela and how they just seized 315 miners. And yes, of course, I'm going to talk about TikTok and Dogecoin again because Dogecoin keeps pumping. We want to know how high we can go. So I have a very important Dogecoin question for you guys in this video. I'm going to share with you guys how you can win 200 Bitcoins in a very simple, very fair competition now. And to end the video, guys, I'm going to show you that the Chinese government is testing its Chinese digital yuan on me. Yes, I know why you're wondering how can they test the digital Chinese you want on me. You need to watch this video. Enjoy the video, guys. Let's take a jump into my office. What? Yes, why is it a good morning, guys? Yesterday, I asked you guys to do donations for all the people now here on the island that don't have jobs and don't have food. I'm so happy, man. I'm so thankful. We raised 850 euros yesterday. 850 euros. We as a family are going to top it up with another 150 euros. So we make it 1,000 euros. And we are able to donate Monday to this beautiful charity here on Happy Food in Koh Phangan that just makes sure that everybody has food. Also the people that don't have jobs at the moment. I am so thankful guys that you donated so much and I will keep the donations open till Monday because Monday I'm going to give the donations to Happy Food. Even afterwards we can still collect donations because my friends will stay on the island so they will make sure that all the donations will be exchanged into Thai bed and go to um, happy food as well guys but we already already collectively with the Bitcoin family raised thousand euros now thousand euros do you know how many people we will be feeding by giving these thousand euros thank you so much for the people that don't know what I'm talking about yesterday in my video I asked everybody in the community to give a few bucks to um, this happy food charity here on Copagan because all of the people here that are jobless because of the COVID crisis all the hotels are closed all the bars are closed all these tourist places are closed so many people lost their jobs and they are not able to provide for themselves so happy food is providing food for these guys happy food happy people happy food didn't have cryptocurrency wallets but does have a GoFundMe page I asked happy food can I collect cryptocurrencies for you guys and then exchange them to Thaibat and donate them and they of course said yes and now the first donation will be thousand US dollars because of the crypto community supporting happy food guys this is the power of crypto this is the power of our community this is how we can slowly change the world by sharing and caring for other people in this beautiful world all together is like 850 euros almost thousand dollars we are going to top it up with 150 euros again. We already did some donations, so this is another donation we are doing as a family. These 150 euros is the first donation we as a family will do from our YouTube revenue. Yes, we are finally able to monetize the channel. To be completely open and honest to you guys, last month we made about 150 US dollar. So we are going to use these 150 US dollar that we made last month to donate to Happy Food as well. Um, hopefully we will grow the channel even bigger in the, cup, in the next couple of months, years, so that we will be able to give away more and more and more of our revenues to all these people around the world that really need it. And now let's go on to the next part of the video. We are going to talk Bitcoin, guys. Bitcoin is around 9,300-ish, 400-ish at the moment. 
moment I don't know anymore because it's moving up this fast. <laughs> yeah, I warned you guys. I thought we would say a 1000 or a 2000 candle. Uh, we are making multiple candles and we are going slowly up. I think we are going to try to retest the 10,500 region um, and maybe even break it this time and go to 11,500, But be aware because many other TAs also think that we could go down um, again when we test 10,500. If we look at this chart, whoop, you can see that the RSI is now above the mid level and pointing upwards. This is very positive. This means we could go all the way to 10,500 to try and retest or break this um, resistance, this huge resistance we have been facing the last couple of months. We are still moving above the exponential day moving average of 200. So this is also very positive because if we move below this one, then we can see some downwards movement, but we keep moving above this day moving average of 200, which is a very positive and bullish sign in my opinion, guys. Also, when we look at this chart, chop, we can see the Bollinger Band. Yes, we talked about the Bollinger Band many more times. It's this huge green band that you can see. This chart is a three day chart, guys. And we can see the down line, the upper line of the Bollinger Band and the mid line. The mid line on this three day chart is now being tested by us. I always say, look to the left on the charts and you can see what happened in the history. So if we look to the left on this chart, we can see what happened as well in the history. The last time we tested the mid line of this Bollinger Band, we saw a 40% drop. And we saw these 40% drops many more times when we tested the midline. But I need to say, but this chart only shows you how, many, how much we dropped because I took it out of an article. I don't fully agree with this TA because if we would draw up the same lines upwards when we break the midline upwards, then you can see every time we cross over this midline in the Bollinger Band, we, saw a, we see a huge move upwards. I prefer to see the glass half full and not half empty. So I would erase all these red lines where we see the 40% drop and I would draw the green lines where we see every time that we break the Bollinger Band midline, we see a huge run up because many more indicators are showing very positive signals. And if we would be able to break this three day midline on the Bollinger Band, we will go to the upper line of the Bollinger Band. And now you're thinking, oh, where is the upper line of the Bollinger Band? That one is exactly around 10,000 US dollars. And if we are rejected by the midline of the Bollinger Band, we could go down to the lower Bollinger Band, and that one is around 8,800 US dollars. I think we're going to, we are going to break the midline, and then we are going to go for the 10,500 and retest that region again. And I just hope that we get it enough people now and these lower levels of Bitcoin prices, around 9,000 US dollar, that we now can collectively break the 10,500 resistance, finally run up to 11,600, get the FOMO in kicking, and then take us up to 14,000, maybe even 16,000. You know, that would be a really cool short run in between. Wow, guys, it's really hot here, man. Oh, another five days and we are going to Europe. Um, I need to say sorry because I haven't showed you amazing place this week here on the island. This is because it's a little bit busy at the moment in our lives with all the planning and I'm doing multiple YouTube shows and podcasts every week. Today again after this at 12 I'm going to do a huge podcast, a two hour podcast. Afterwards I have a one hour break, then I have a meeting of two hours and then I do another YouTube show. So today is a little bit busy, that's why I didn't take you to a temple, a nature, waterfall or whatever and you just need to settle with this amazing beach in front of my house still in front of my house I need to cry because uh, in five days we will be leaving to Europe and I don't have this luxury beautiful sea in front of me but I do have my family and friends around me and I do have the beautiful Netherlands and Spain upcoming and many other countries where I'm very looking forward to create these daily videos on just new locations every day we will be moving around with a camper van probably and then I can show you all these places. Can you imagine me making these kinds of videos on the top of a mountain in Austria? Or where, we, where I make these videos somewhere in a Spanish local town? Or when I make these videos in the south of the booth of Italy where I visit these beautiful beaches over there or in Albania, Montenegro or in Greece, in Athens on the top of the Acropolis making these kinds of videos for you guys. I'm looking very much forward to take you on this trip with me. And um, so hopefully 
you will enjoy it as much I am enjoying the thoughts of it already. There's a very happy dog coming to me again. The dogs here in Thailand, they love vlogging people. How are you? Are you good? Mm. Some dogs are sweet. Some dogs... Hey! Bye! Some of them are sweet. Some of them are not that sweet. They try to bite. They grab you at your arm. That's playful. But you know, it's Thai dogs. You never know at the Thai dog. So always be aware with the Thai dogs. Some of them bite. Some of them are happy. Guys, for all the people that were not able to buy Bitcoins, there is now a huge opportunity to win Bitcoin. You can win 200 Bitcoins. You might ask yourself now how? It's very easy by doing what you always do, just by trading. You can win 200 Bitcoins if you join this new Bybits World Series of Trading. You might uh, think now, ah, oh, this is only for the very professionals, they are always going to win. No. Bybit made it very fair because they are going to look at the percentages of growth of your portfolio so not of the on the volume this means that also the small cap traders just have a few coins to trade can win as well because Bybit is going to look at the percentage of growth of your portfolio so this is really cool so you even if you play with 10 US dollar and you can multiply 10 US dollar to one on the dollar it's the same as if you play with thousand dollar and multiply that one to ten thousand dollar I think this is really fair and this thing is really cool what Bybit is doing and showing now that it needs to be fair for everybody for the small cap traders for the big cap traders so if I were you I would join this world series of trading because you can win 200 bitcoins the other incentive is that you also get 20 percent discount on the trading fees and i think there are also bonuses up to 9400 us dollar that you can win by entering this world series of trading as well if you want to enter this world series of trading use my affiliate link because you get an extra 90 dollar bonus when you use it the affiliate link is down below in the description it will also be down below in the comments because if you want to win 200 us dollar if you want to win 200 bitcoins I would really join because you can play this game only with small money as well you don't need to be filthy rich to play this trading game and to win these 200 Bitcoin this is a real cool way of creating a very fair competition for everybody in this crypto industry I love what Bybit is doing there please sign up to Bybit use my affiliate link take your $90 bonus then and maybe even win the competition with this 90 dollar bonus if this is possible i don't know for sure i need to read the terms and condition on this one uh, you need to read them as well <laughs> always do your own research but it's really cool that bybit is launching this world series of trading where everybody is treated equally because that is exactly the goal of cryptocurrency and blockchain we need to become equally in this monetary system and this game is representing exactly the fundamentals of crypto so I would join it. Please sign up using my referral link because also the revenues we make with these referral links we will partly use all these revenues as well to do donations to poor people all over the world. We are not in this game to become millionaires. We are in this game to change the world. We are in this game to share, to share our wealth with those people that are really in need. Um, other really crazy news guys, Dogecoin again. Yeah, I talked about it yesterday as well. That's just because I like Dogecoin. Dogecoin was one of my first currencies. I still have 1 million Dogecoins in the wallet because I'm just too emotional attached to selling these Dogecoins. So you, I need your help. <laughs> I really need your help. I did a tweet today. I'm sitting on 1 million Dogecoins. Do I sell or do I hodl in $1 Dogecoin price? Because TikTok is still pumping Dogecoin. We already are at 0 0.005 dollar cents, I think. We came from 0.002 dollar cents. You know, this, is a, this is a huge growth of more than 150% in just the last two days. The TikTok community is 800 million people big. 800 million people that are now pumping pumping dough coin with videos and not only TikTok guys I saw something about Jack Paul a, a very famous fighter or something I sorry I don't know him personally I'm not in the fighting industry but he has like 30 million followers here 10 million followers there 20 million followers there and he's even placing stories now on his Instagram please buy dough coin dough coin to the moon dough coin is going to go crazy all these influencers are now pumping dough coin as well I still love Dogecoin. It is a meme coin. I know it started all as a joke and as a meme coin, but it still has it 
has this value, emotional value for me, but also a value from the community that it has a lot of community members that still hold the Dogecoins. And you never know, man, that maybe Elon Musk will become the CEO of Dogecoin and maybe he will take it to a $1 price. Oh my God, I would be a Dogecoin millionaire at that time because we still have this million Dogecoin. Let me know what you would do. Would you huddle the 1 million dough coins till we reach a $1 price or would you sell now because you think it's a pump and dump so take 0.5 Bitcoin now for your 1 million dough coins. Let me know your opinion. Very much looking forward to your opinion about this guys. Just mentioned uh, Bybit and their huge world series of uh, trading event. You know the one you can win 200 bitcoins use my referral link yes wow didi is now becoming very commercial everybody is saying oh didi is now selling referral links yes i am with another goal not to enrich myself to enrich those people that need it but <laughs> but to talk a little bit more about exchanges let's talk about binance binance just bought swipe swipe is this debit crypto card provider that is making it able to use your bitcoins by using these debit cards. I've been talking many times about these debit cards. I'm I have been using Wirex for a very long time. At the at the moment, I'm using Ambly, I'm using Plutus, I'm using Crypto.com, I'm using yeah, I'm using so many cards. I don't even know many how many cards we already have. So I keep switching between them because they all have these KYC regulations, and that is exactly not the reason why I'm here. I'm only I'm only using them. For those moments that I really can't use Bitcoin or that I need to buy some flight tickets or whatever, then they are handy for me. So yes, I'm very positive about this whole debit card, about this whole crypto debit card industry, but I also see it as a step in between. I see it as a step in between to the end goal of using peer-to-peer -peer cryptos on a daily basis. But Binance just bought Swipe. They already had like 20 plus cryptos on their platform, on their Swipe app. But now they added BNB, of course, to it as well. So I think this is one of the reasons why Binance bought Swipe. Because now all these people are able to buy the BNB currency by using their bank account, by using a Swift transfer or a SEPA. So I think a very technical move of CZ to buy Swipe because now they give access to these credit cards. And because now they can add BNB to these credit cards and at the same time give a very and give a very simple onboarding process to BNB currency as well for many users out there in this world. So that is really cool news and then we still have some other really cool news that is that Venezuela just seized more than 300 miners to be exactly 315 miners because the people that were importing the miners were importing them illegally because in Venezuela guys if you want to own or if you want to operate or if you even want to import these miners you need all different documents this is so strange Venezuela is a country in need and people are and you see the crypto adoption there is huge people are using Bitcoin really because there is no other option anymore because their local currency is crashing down so people are hedging into Bitcoin and people were also stepping into the Bitcoin mining game because that was giving them an income you know the average income in Venezuela as well as I think between six and ten US dollar per month so but by mining they could provide for their family and now to start mining has become very difficult because you need to fill all these documents and almost nobody is able to import these miners use the miners so mine bitcoins um, very crazy step by Venezuela we saw Venezuela already breaking down a little bit more on Bitcoin by not accepting Bitcoin for the passports and everything anymore I don't know what they are doing. I think they need to get their shit together and start having Bitcoin as their main currency and save this whole country from this huge financial crisis they are now in the middle of. And the last news, guys, I'm going to share with you guys is about myself. Why? Because China chose to test the digital yuan on me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you might ask, what? <laughs> what is this about? Yeah, the Chinese government chose to test the digital yuan on me. Still no? Yeah. Is the quarter falling? Ringing a bell? You understand where I'm going to? <laughs> no? Okay, I will tell you guys. So the, the Chinese government just announced that, that the first test of the digital yuan will be on the platform Didi. Didi is like the Uber of China. So where we share rides and Uber, Didi is the platform in China. Didi even has also this food app, like Uber Eats, it is there, Didi Eats. So China just announced that they are going to officially test the digital yuan on this platform. Everybody in China will now be able to order food or transport using the Didi app in China. 
this is huge because these apps have 30 million users on a daily basis. You have about 550 million registered users of the app. That is about 40% of the 1.15 billion population of China. Almost half of China is using these Didi apps. So half of China knows Didi. Why, why I am not performing this well in SEO yet? Because the name Didi should be Google. Oh no, Google is illegal in China. That's the reason, of course. Ah oh yeah, what the hell? <laughs> China just announced they are going to test the Chinese digital currency yuan on the Didi app. So all these 550 million people now will be able to test the digital yuan. Hopefully this will create a bridge to those people understanding cryptocurrencies and then looking into hedging their digital yuan into the Bitcoin or into Ethereum or into Litecoin, you know, one of these currencies. Because yes, I am not for all these centralized government currencies, but I do think that it could be an easier way for normal people to understand okay cryptocurrency is not that bad and then let's take the first small tab to go to digital yuans or di digital euros and then we are, when we are feeling safe in this digital government protected KYC regulated area maybe we will take a dip also into hedging a little bit into Bitcoin because then it's more easy, you know, then it's more comfortable, then it's more, then people grow, grew a little bit more trust into the, this, this new area of digital currencies. That was the news for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your communities, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because I love to reply to your comments. Don't forget to answer the questions I did in this video. So I still need to know what I want to do with my 1 million doll coins. And guys, please, if you still want to do a donation, it's still open. I will go to Happy Food on Monday to give them everything we collected as the Bitcoin family. So please, if you want to do a donation, you can still do it till Monday. Use the Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum and Dash wallet addresses I listed below this video. Thank you very much for watching this whole video again. I wish you an amazing day. Please zoom out in crypto and zoom in in life. Enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. And I hope to see you tomorrow again. Bye.